Now our addition clip, it's fine and dandy to be able to open this window and get between things, but that window actually is not real practical for simply selecting something you already have. Uh, let me show you. I'm going to right click my audition clip, come to the audition submenu, and I want to show you two shortcuts next pick and previous pick. Next pick, control option, right arrow. Previous pick, control option, left arrow. Now, watch what happens without opening the window. Control option, right arrow, takes me through my clips that way. Left arrow takes me backwards through my clips. So I've got loop playback enabled. Come to the view menu to playback. Loop playback, it's command L. I have that enabled, and I'm going to use the shift forward slash to do my play round. And it's just going to keep looping around and around. Now I can use control, option, right arrow, switch to my next one, show whoever's sitting with me that one, or I'm just going through them to see which one I personally like best. Uh, they all have their plus and minuses. I'm going to go control, option, left arrow to this clip. I like this cutaway the best. I think I'll stick with that. I'll hit space bar to stop playback. And so you see, audition clips can be really, really fast way to work, really interesting way to work. And once I select a specific clip that I like using, I still have access to the other ones in case someone else comes along later and wants to choose from something else.